All right, so some of y'all requested a video on how to do the paper cowl method for the topping of the bread. Um, just got a couple paper, paper towels off the roll. I X it up because these are the narrow pieces, so they're not going to cover the whole loaf of bread. So I do a little X pattern like that. And just put a generous amount of flour on there. Press it out flat with my hands. Set that aside. A little flour on the table. And this has been rising all day. Uh, I think at this point it's been about, I don't know, five or six hours. Um, I'm going to make this the top of my ball of dough right there. And so, uh, I don't know the correct terminology, but this will be the, the final proof or you know, the point where you shape it. And so, instead of letting it set in a proofing basket to get its shape um, I'm going to be having it set in this bowl on top of that paper towel and that's what gives it the texture see I'm not really using any kind of technique to make the shape I'm just going for a round somewhat tight-ish ball So the top is relatively unfloured. It's not sticky, but it's not floured at all. I just have a somewhat tight round ball. And that way the moisture from the bread can get into the flour that's on the paper towels. All I do is take it, put it down like that. And I'll close this up around it so I can get that pattern wrapped all the way around the dough. And I'll set it. And so what I do is I let it set like this for one hour, and then all I do is take the paper towels off, flip it over onto my pan, score it, and bake. And uh, I'll continue the video when I do that part so you can see how the pattern turns out. All right, so dough's been rising for an hour with the paper towel pattern. Um, I usually take a, another cloth laid over top and sprinkle water just so it stays moist, doesn't dry out too much. Um, you can see it just kind of slowly lift it off there and then take it, dump it onto the pan. Should be able to peel it right off just like that. Got a little bit of lip, a little score it right there. So now all I do is score it, put it in the oven, I bake it for 35 or 30 minutes, and yep, that's it, folks.